back folks this is lesson 33 and for the newcomers uh, this is what we do uh, I'll put you a sketch up to start with to have a look at and let's see if we can sketch from that and then we'll carry on with the complete painting but uh, first on, on what I've got you here is the colors for this painting the mix of raw sienna or ochre ultramarine ultramarine and burnt umber together, and a weak mix of alizarin crimson. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you my palette there, that, that's, that's the palette, and that's what I've mixed. And there's the, the ultramarine, the, sorry, the sienna, there's the ultramarine, there's the ultramarine and burnt umber, and there is the alizarin crimson. That's, 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 that'll take us through the painting. Right, you've got the colours now, so I think, let's, let's get started, let's see if we, we take you from here, shall we? Right. First thing is we've got to, this is a, a place called Oyster Bay House and this is in the place, a, a, a place called Faversham in Kent. Now Faversham, uh, Faversham Creek is famous, and it's beautiful and uh, my, my daughter and son-in-law had a house down here on Abbey Street, lovely little old street, they had a beautiful little house and we used to walk down here by the, uh, the Oyster Bay House this this dates back to about the uh, the eleventh uh, century. With the, the 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 Romans apparently were very very keen on oysters. They used to have them like everyday everyday meals and that. But of course now they're more of a delicacy. But uh, it it lost its 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 industry and all that uh, uh, when they 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 got sewage. <laughs> the when they put drainage into the, the houses and stuff, and it went into the creek, which the creek is just here. And of course, it flowed out to the, the oyster bed, and, and the oysters didn't like living in the sewage, so, so they, 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 they packed it up and uh, stopped growing. Anyway, that, that's a potted history of what it is, and it's, it's, I think it's been converted to, to a house now. But, uh, but for, for our, our purposes, it's the old oyster bay house, there's a couple of chips here, uh, some rubbish around here and some barren uh, hot building there and some distant there. Right, we've got a potted history of that now. Let, let's, let's get cracking. This is clean water. Now the balance of the weight of the picture is about here, so I might put a dark up there to, to balance it. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Just clean water randomly here. This is not not all over. So some sunshine onto this. The light today, folks, is coming from uh, the left. So we'll have light from the left. Which means, eventually, the that side of it, the building will be in shade, won't it, in that side, and that'll be in full sun. Let's get that established straight away. Right, I'm gonna put some, some, uh, Ultramarine in there now. Bring it down towards the horizon. As we get down towards the horizon, I want to introduce some of that alizarin crimson into it. But let's get this cracking first on there. That takes care of it towards the house and that. Right, now some alizarin crimson on that, which is a... Just wash the brush out, of course. Different colour. And this is the pinky stuff, the the alizarin crimson, which is which is a nice. It'll be the base of the sky, and it'll it'll give us a base round there, round there. Be quite nice that in the sky. And don't forget this side as well. 
the uh, the cells and I'll sort them out afterwards they'll they'll be a darker colour so, so the, the pinky stuff won't show right down to there in fact the light's coming from there so I think we'll have some pinky stuff up here as well we get a, a bit different sky this one We're going all pink today. Just take some of that weight of that that flow of water there or paint that's on the bottom so it doesn't run. That's it. I said I promise you a dark cloud here to balance that weight of this this the, the, the building and that and the boat at this corner. Right, let's try that now. Right, so that's a nice juicy dark cloud at this corner, how's that? You can see it was menacing. here a bit and then as it goes in the uh, towards the horizon of course the the, the, the colours soften don't they? they 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 weaken and just as they disappear towards the horizon take a touch under that there Most the the light is coming from the right this time, isn't it? So any any darks on this would be would be on the right hand side, it's around here, the edge of the clouds. I don't want to fiddle too much with this. It's Once you get bogged down with, with doing something, you, 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 you lose the plot. So I'll just... That'll do. Stop messing. Stop messing about. Take that water off there again. Right, I'll... The next job we're going to do, well, I want to get rid of some of this white, of course. I don't, I don't like the white at the bottom. So this is a, a sort of a, it's not a, a, a lawn or anything like that. It's a, it's a sort of a, a rough area because it's, it's, at the time I was down there, it was, it was sort of abandoned. It was empty. Right. This area at the front here, uh, I want to sort of get that filled in a bit so we, so we lost this white stuff. And probably put an undercoat on the, the actual building itself. Let's get a brush and get cracking on this. I'll start it up with some some basic colour the sienna on this. The roof is tiled, but it's like a, a, a sort of a, a dark tile. A bit big this brush for doing this, but I'll, I'll, I'll manage. I see we've got some some of this stuff down here. You'll find yourself if if you if you get rid of the this this white stuff at the front, it uh, it looks like snow otherwise. We can, we can get rid of that and more of it anyway. I 
That'll do for now, just to get rid of it. Right, where we go. Uh, I think I put the, 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 a bit of a distant headland. The, the, the far side of the, the creek is in, it, it's in there. I'll pop that in first, because that's that's the, the farthest part, uh, far, the farthest point away from us. I can get my tongue around that. So we need to put up sort of a, a, a sort of a distant headland. There's the creek. See, there. And there's some a, a sort of a greenery just here. And all, all greenery and all sorts of stuff just there beyond the creek. These boats are sort of at low tide in the creek. So let's put some distance in there. Some of that pinky stuff I've got left. And mix it with that, that the this heavy colour in the sky. Mix a bit of stuff between them. We should come up with a colour that give us some distance. Sort of distant landscape. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, that'll do with that colour. Mind this little shed. Get that in rough. It's not, it's not it's not a manicure or anything like that, it's not topiary. It's just distant. And then in front of that, isn't there some, there's some green green distance. But let's get this up this other side in first here. Get this depth in here. Nothing special. This is all spear carriers just in the back background. There's been a, 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 it's a long time, well not a long time since I've did the last one, but I usually try and do one every other day or every day. This has been a few days, and the reason for it is, is not because I'm sick of painting, it's the, the my lovely neighbours next door have had a, a log cabin delivered, like, like, like mine, and it's, uh, and of course they put it together piece by piece, and it's, uh, it, it's, it's taken them all week with hammering and sawing and stuff like that, so there's no way I could do any recording. <laughs> oh, we read that not to purpose. So I've, it's, it's rained today, so and that that should keep them off it a bit. So now I've put, put some the green on the side, this side of the the creek there now. So I'll mix a bit of green. It'll be a distant green. So perhaps some of that raw sienna or oak or whatever you like to use in. And a touch of the ultramarine. Just a touch. Let's have a, a, a sort of a, a, a green that's not going to not going to intrude. It's going to sit in the background there, and it's also got rid of a bit bit more of that white, hasn't it? So that's got really some there's some at that side as well. Let's just pop that in. Nothing special behind the boat there. There we go. That, that, that's put our, our our depth in. So that that's that's the background. We can we can start coming forward now, trying to give it our, our three dimensional look instead of just a flat piece of paper. So that's the distance. That's the mid distance. Now we can start working on some of this foreground. Uh, I think we'll, 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 we'll t put, put a roof on the on the Oyster Bay house, shall we? And that's that's a, a slate, uh, like a slate roof it is. So we can make some a slaty colour. Which is this colour up here, and perhaps a bit more brown into it would, would give it a, a more slaty colour. Let's see what we've got. It's like a slate grey we're after. Well, that's not bad. But I've tested it on my paper first, don't forget that. 
I want to have it on here like this. Steady hand on this bit. Don't let that edge dry out or you'll get a line on your, on your, on your painting. Keep it moving. All the time. Let's put our basic colour on, on the on the roof. And that's a little roof here, isn't it? We'll better do that one. That's it. Now that looks like it's just been built by a wimp, but so we ought to sort of put some some uh, some brownie bits on it and just to, as though it's as though it's not new. Put some age onto it. We can't have it looking new, can we? It's a listed building, by the way, this. It's, uh, I don't know if it's grade two or grade, wherever grade it is, but it's, it's, I it, say it's been there so long, and it's just revered, which is, which is nice, and so it should be any of these buildings like this, I think they're lovely. I said, we, we, when my daughter first, uh, well, they, they, they just had the first child they had, and we used to walk along there and take the pram along and have a, a real nice walk along here. I'd say it was derelict, and, but it still didn't take away from the attractive place it was in. There we go, a bit down that side. That'll do for now. We can start putting some some of these little buildings here. Let's get these in, shall we? Uh, before that, and I'll put this bit, bit, of, bit of rough stuff around the creek here. Well, I'll, mix, I'll have to mix some green for this. Now, the green I'm going to mix is, is a camion yellow with some Windsor blue red shades. So it's like a, a, a nice Windsor blue. I just call it Windsor blue. But that'll, that'll do the trick. Test it on your paper, make sure it's what you want. And that comes across here like this. As I say, a lot of this, it, 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 all this foreground is weeds. So we've got to represent some weeds at the front when we get around to it. I have full confidence in you, you'll, you'll eat it, no problem at all. So it's all rough, this. And the light's coming from the right, isn't it? So what we need to do is put, put a touch of shadowy stuff or the, the, this this color in the sky but I took you that in the underside of this just to give it give it some depth give it a bit of shape not seem unimportant but it, it certainly makes it look a bit more three-dimensional for you And in that short distance there, we've got three distances. We've got distant trees, we've got the edge of the creek, and then this side of the creek. And as it's coming forward, it gets, it's getting stronger in value, in, in tonal value. Right, so with this, there's a bit more green there. Pop that in. That's in front of the... The two, it looks like, looks like Thames Barge or something like that. That's nice. Just give it a touch of shadowy area in the bottom there. Right, coming forward now. Now there's a, there's a piece of sort of Bushy stuff. It's like it's these like old planks and something. Well, I don't know what they are, but they're, they're old planks and stuff, and they just seem to be leaning against this here like a bush. But let, let's put it in and see what it looks like. 
a bit more greenery. And this green is a little bit more further forward than the last lot. So we'll probably make it a bit stronger in, in, in tone than the, than the last lot we had, which is that one there. Just make sure it comes forward a bit. That's this bit here. That's better. Bushing all sorts of days, and as I say, I don't know what. This is when you when you out painting that you see you you, you don't uh, you don't have to know exactly what everything is. You don't have to know what it how it works or anything. All you're trying to do is 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 give me a representation as you see it. That should be enough. I, I remind me of I I, I had a I, I done painting courses from my home and that and. Uh, we were painting in a, in a little village quite close to my home and we sat on the, the village green and uh, this I saw this lady, she, she'd been sat there painting this, this scene and she was doing a lovely job, it was a smashing job and uh, then I, I couldn't understand why she oh, just put some darks in the, in the bottom of this, I'm, I'm rabbiting on That's a bit, bit, bit more value than that, you see. I couldn't understand why she she was she was sat down and doing this. She got off her seat and went to look what was behind this this like a like a, a, a sort of a, 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 a stand which had writing on. And so I said, so I said what, do, "What do you want to know that for?" So well, I don't want to paint it, but she couldn't see it. So, so why bother? Anyway, she really, we had a good laugh about it, and uh, and uh, we enjoyed it. It's it had a good day. In fact, we always have a good day. That's the main thing. Let's let's get this, these boats in now. Can get things moving forward. Now, what colour should we have these boats? Bit of brightness on the bottom to make it stand out. Eh? What about a nice, oh, a nice mahogany one? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, that burnt sienna is a lovely colour for that. It gives you a nice mahogany colour. So we'll, we'll put this mahogany colour here. Here again, we've got to be take the B and Q look off it because it's not new. So it'll be a bit darker on the where, where the dirt is on it, won't it? Put a bit of dirt on there on the bottom. Anything that's on your palette, that's, 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 I, I, I'm dipping into some of that stuff that I've got left of that. I'm just going to put it in the bottom here. Just to sort of dirty it. So it doesn't look brand new. Yeah, that's alright. There's another little boat in front of it here. We'll have that a, a contrasting colour so we can uh, so we can depict the two together. I think a nice, a nice red one there would be nice, wouldn't it? It's only a small one, so we'll, we'll make it a red one. This is the cadmium yet, red. Cadmium yet. It's a uh, and it's, it's bright, it'll, it'll set our pictures off a little bit as well. So it's been covered a lot by this, 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 all this rubbish in front of it. That's that, and we'll make it miserable again, shall we? To make it look as though it's been used. Bit of dark in the bottom again. 
down here. Right, that's it. And when that's dry, I'll, I'll put them uh, bow, bow spritz, I think they call them, the front bit of it that stick out. And while we're doing that, I'm, 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 I'll put these put these sails in, or furl sails. Just clean the brush out again. And furl sails, I'm going to pick, uh, mix it with, uh, I could do it with light red, light red if you've got it, or or, or even this, this raw sienna colour. Let's put it, just put it up here like this. Fill the sail like that. Goes around there and goes up the other sail. We'll sweep down here as it's tied in. And another one below it, there, just there. And a little one down here. So that's about. Enough sail there, but to tidy that up a bit, it looks a bit. Made a pig's ear that. Not too worry. I want to try a smaller brush. Let's try a bit smaller brush on that just to finish it off just there. Light is from the left, isn't it? So we're going to get some darks on, on this and, and the folds. Because we know no reflection because this is not this is not water, it's just dark on there. And then in this one as well, this is one, this is, this is on the back sail of the same boat. So let's get something off on this one. little bit of uh, mast in, what with the ma bit of mast that you can actually see, which is a little bit at the top. Let's just put a touch in there. Just up here. That's better than one of this one here. And what this one? That one there. And let's put these bow spritz in while we're at it, shall we? There's one here. And one on this one here. This bow here. Bit more fold in there, I'll put which tucked in a little bit, a bit more shade in that one, just a touch around here. That's it. Then stop fiddling, because you can you get bogged down if you do this. It, it, you can fiddle. You're making a, a rod for your own back then. Right, let's hold up with this. There's a, a little red brick building here and a red brick building there. I think the red brick anyway. Yes. Let's have a look. So we'll put them in while we're at it. Let's 
schon hier. As I said, it's, this Abbey Street, where they bought this little house, it was, it, it, I mean, the house was, was ooh, built in the year dot. They've been there since the, since the, the Abbey, it's called Abbey Street. And it's, uh, there were little houses they were, but, but beautiful, and, and, and they weren't cheap. And the, uh, but the, the, the beauty of it is, it was, it was really handy, uh, if you like a drink, it, it was about 100 yards from Shepherd's Neem Brewery on the same road, you just, and you could stagger home, you know, no problem at all. That's if you're, if you're inclined for, for, for a glass of, glass of ale. Right, let's get this, this building in just here. So things are coming forward, and uh, I'll put that in there, that in there, that in there. I want to uh, pop in, well I've got this rigger in my hand, I've got one or two brushes in my hand, I'm collecting them. I want to slip in just one or two of these, these masks here. Now, I can do it two ways, anyone that's seen me before do this, you can, you can do it with a, a piece of, uh, piece of card, like this, credit card. If you get a good a credit card and cut it up, especially if it's, if it's your partner's and you stop the spending or him spending. Pop that on there and pop it on, on this. I'll give you a mask, you see. And if you've got wobbly hands, you know, because as you get older, and I'm, I'm, I'm talking from experience, your hands get a bit shaky. So let that do it. Let it do it for you. It's easy. You can't beat it. A bit of help any time. And there's another one just here. Now these are all, these are boats in the in the creek. Of course, you can't see the creek because it's behind that hedge. Well, that's a bit job, isn't it? That. Now let's have a look at the tea, we can do some, uh, I think I'll, I'll do a bit more on this building now, we'll, we'll first start bringing it forward. We'll put some uh, windows in, shall we? Just, just clean these brushes out, so I don't, I don't pick the brush at this full of the colour I don't want. Let's have a look what we've got here, nice, that'll do a nice brush there. Let's put some windows in. Right, as I say, I'm, I'm right-handed, so I'll start at this left-hand side and work my way across. Of course, as you, as you look at these, you see the you're looking sort of at a slight angle, so the left-hand window will be will appear slightly larger than the right-hand one because that's in set in the wall, isn't it? You might think I'm nitpicking, but it certainly helps. Good. These little chisel brushes are good for anything like this. Right, let's 
get the, some around the corner here, let's pop these in. That one's bigger that side because you're looking that way on it. The, the, the narrow one is to the, the other side this time. Like that. There's one up here, isn't there? Right, and there's a little tiny one up there, we better put that in. Yeah, we tend to forget these things. Just a tiny one here, just a little touchy one. That's too touchy, that. That's only got one window. It does now, anyway. Right, and then, because of the light and stuff like that, you do get a, a touch of darkness from there. You, you get a touch of dark inside the corners of the these these window at the top there. Just a little touch. It shows you thought about it. So you're saying, oh, that's, that's, that'll do. And if you do it, you, when you put your picture in your exhibitions, yours will be the one that picks out as, as, as a winner. Just because you've taken care to do a little just more detail on it. These here, these will be, these will be just dark at the top. Like that. There are a lot of windows, isn't there? Not to worry. We've got it there, we've cracked it now. And of course, these don't forget these two, these two staunchions, I think they call them, what's holding this here building up here. It's, it's fastened to the wall there. Holding this, this uh, I think it's, it's, it's like a, a, a place where the, I think the, the boats used to come round there, and then lift the stuff up, up into the top there. Well, the, what they want oysters up the top for, I don't know, but, but that's that's another story. Now the door, let's have a door, but I don't want to make it too too chocolate boxy. Uh, let's see. I think a bit of a brown door, I think. But let's keep it subdued. Let's keep it. Let's keep it eleventh century, shall we? dark in there it's it's too nice that well, I'll pinch a bit of that blue let's put some dark in there that'll do that'll do Right, we ought to put some windows in these these other little buildings as well, didn't we? Just just tiny ones, because they're only the only sheds. Uh, perhaps let's see now. Too much paint on my brush there. And just one, just poking through this this side here like this. Here again, darken them. Just up there. Right. 
and that Oyster Bay is is a bit uh, that tower I've, I've, I've mispainted it then painted it so I'll put that in I don't somebody emailing me on on on, on YouTube and saying hey you forgot to paint that moving tower I'm not having that if you have any comments any time by the way folks just put them on there if there's certain pictures you like and certain pictures you don't like and then I'll paint you the ones you do like because I like painting all sorts now these these like like planks dirty old like either planks or sort of uh, what you might call corrugated iron it might be corrugated I don't really know what it is to be honest with you uh, but but we'll We'll put some paint on it, like corrugated iron, because I think that that's that's probably does it more good than the than uh, than planks. Just give me. Don't put any nails in or anything like that, just suggest them. And of course you can put some darks in, can't you? Uh, use your rigger, that's that little thin brush. And put some dark in the, in the, in between the panels and that. Perhaps I'll touch down here. And it's it's just showing you, it, it, it depicting what you think it is. Uh, anybody that's looking at your picture will say, "Oh yes, I think they're I think they're they're panels of some description." Right. So that's that. Then there were two rows on these 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 little buildings here. We've got to put them on, and I'll put a matching roof on to the to what we had on the. The big building, shall we? This one first. And then this little one. It's nothing special these buildings, but it's nice to get them, get them looking reasonable, isn't it? There'll be a slight overhang on this one. You see the edge of the tiles on this, won't you? Just there. You can see the edge of the tile on this one here. And this one. Just here. And this one, just here. Right, actually it's starting to come forward a bit now, so we, we're we okay. We get, we get, now we can start working on some of this foreground here. As I said, this is rough ground, so we're going to put some, some uh, miserable greens in, for want of a better word. So I'm going to mix some miserable greens. Now if you, if you mix some... Uh, uh, raw sienna with some ultramarine you might get a miserable looking green you 
if we don't want it to look like a lawn but we can put some some greens in here like this look it's rough this so don't uh, don't manicure it whatever you do stuff it up all, all those planks there the weeds these are weeds that grow up don't they that'll anchor the planks as well I've mixed enough green so I'll mix some more don't worry about that because I, I like you to have different greens. If you if you mix mix one lot, you know everything will look one green. And you don't want that variety. That's what gives your picture some sparkle. Twiddly bits up there. It's a bit of a bush here, we'll put that bush in, shall we? A little bush, but a bit stronger, that. This one here. Some darks in the bottom. Just here, because that's away from the light, isn't it? And it's nearer to you, so it's going to be more, more, more value in tone. Let's get a bit more, a bit more greenery on that, where the weeds are. Right, see what we're doing now. I might put some more green in this foreground here. Let's get it coming towards this. One thing I will do is get a bigger brush. Because that's, that's a miserable thing I've used in there. I'll be here all day. Ah, oh, it's better, big, bigger brush. Purposely burying the greens here, folks, by to try and give it give it some interest in the foreground. Mixing them up as I'm going along. So now I'm going to get a different one. That's that different there. Look. Right, it's a bit overgrown, so what I want to do is put some some rubbishy rubbishy shrubs. Or oh, well shrubs anyway, they're not shrubs, they're, they're weeds. Let's put some weeds in, shall we? Weeds and stuff like that in, in here. Just randomly. If it bleeds into the other, that's lovely. So 
darks in here. A little bit of dark on the edge of this here. Rough ground here as well. As I said, there's nobody lives up here, or they didn't anyway. I don't know what they do now. I mean, it's a while since I've been down there, but it it, it always looked a bit. Well, it look it looks where it is. You see, it was unkempt. It might be it might be lawns now for all I know. You know, it's a, uh, it might be millions of pounds. Because the world's gone mad, hasn't it? A bit dark down this corner here. Right. So the the the, the next weeds I'm putting in, or greens for weeds, and whatever we're doing, uh, I want to I want them to to stand out. Those were blended, those, but these will, these should be just give it a touch of. This sort of stuff, you know. Bits of green and bits of all sorts. Whatever colour you choose to put in there, it'll look great, I'm sure it will. No, these are stronger because they're, 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 they're in the foreground, aren't they? I like doing anything like this. You can have a bit of fun, you know. It, it, no matter what way you stroke or what it is, it, it, you can make it look all right. Flick, like that, see, just flick. Bit of greenery there, and as it get, of course it gets further back. They get shorter, don't forget, because they're further away, aren't they? These will be so longer ones because they're foreground. some twiddly bits in here. Give a bit of separation to see that. I restated that because it, it, it blended in too much, it was too wet. I don't know how, long, I don't know how much time I'm spending on this, but uh, I, like, I like enjoying myself, so. I think that, that, that'll do for this foreground now. Then I'm going to dry it a bit, and then what I want to do is put in some shadows. Because we need shadows. Right, shadows. What we need for shadows is... We need... The colour I, I, I tend to use on this, because the, the, they are both transparent colours, is the colours we use in the sky, which is the... Ultramarine and the burnt umber, which will give you a nice, nice shadowy colour. 
speaks almost a bit more more of the blue than the, than the brown and you should get a nice nice shadowy color but but please test it on your paper before you commit yourself won't you because if you don't you'll get it wrong this way just tip is what you want before you before you strike gold right let's see where we're going from here right the lights coming from where did we see the left right so the the, the building will be in shade this end won't it so be careful here this is going to be in, in shade Cover over your windows. But what I was saying about these two colours, they're transparent. Which means I painted over that, but you can still see the windows, can't you? That's what I want. I want to be able to see the windows. This is in shade here. Down up there. As soon as you start, start putting shade on it, it makes the bit, rest of the building stand out. That's what being shade, this piece here. And that piece there. And that will, well, it'll cast a shadow under there where the the sun is catching that edge of that roof which is hanging over and it's shining, putting a shadow on the actual building itself just here, like that and on this little one here that's in shadow in this end now then, that, this piece here is, is, is sticking out this piece here so that will be in shade because it's against the light. This building here will be in shade here on this end because it's not, it's in the shadow. And what we're also going to do, we're going to get, and that's going to be in shade as well, this little bit in here, because the background you can see, that's all. That's it. The, you're going to get a shadow from this, this building under the, under the floor, won't you, like this. Don't forget that. This will probably be in shade, this piece here, and that piece. And of course, no matter how much you fiddle about with your, your greens and grasses and that, they'll, they'll cast a shadow on there, like this. So don't forget to give them a shadow. Because the sun's shining from the, the left-hand side, isn't it? It'll be shadowy around there. And apart from that, what it'll do It'll bring this bit forward for you, into the, into the foreground. Bring it towards you, which is what we want. We want to give that three-dimensional look. This has got to be the front of the front of your picture. Darken it here. So it's. Let's just see if I can get a touch of. If I get a touch of shadow on these here sails here. Perhaps that's in shade there. These sails here. And that says Oyster Bay House there, but I'm, I'm not going to try and write that in because uh, it's, 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 it, it, you can make a right pig's ear of it. That 
say that's that building will cast a small shadow, that's that one there. This might cast a shadow here. Well, this, this bush will want it just here. This will cast a shadow across here like this. Be careful I'm looking for things to do now. That, that's, that's a dangerous time. Now looking at the sky, I've noticed in the sky, I don't know if you spot it yourself, but there's uh, if I can see it. Just just here. You see it like a little spot in the sky. Oh, hang on. It's just flown off. So, so it's, it's another bird, it's all right. But I'll put a couple of birds in, or two or three birds, two or three birds in, just to sort of give it a bit, bit, bit of life up at the top here. I could put some people in if you wanted, but uh, yeah, I'll just have a couple of people. Hell with the expense. Well, two people about it. The, 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 it's, a, it's a house now. These it could be prospective buyers, couldn't they? Well, just walk, they walked along this path and they got to about here. A nice bit of red there. This, this is Fred's jumper. He loves his jumper, does Fred. Walking down here he is. With, with purpose. I'm putting some jeans on. Walking down there. And of course, he's not, he's not just going on his own, because there's Mabel's with him. They're married now. So, so what's his P's and Q's? He does. She is Mabel, just here. Nice girl. Matching jeans. I think I'm from Primark. So she's walking as well. She's. They're both in step, right? The. Oh yes, up they go. She's got red hair. She has. I'll put some red hair on. Yeah. I bet she's saying to me, I wonder how much it is this place. Oh, I bet we'll need a big mortgage for this. But don't forget, folks, when you're doing these things, if you put figures in, don't forget to put shadows in, because they, they'll cast a shadow also, won't they? Just about here. And I'm looking for things to do now, and I think that is the time, time to stop and put your brush down. Uh, well, that, that, that's, that's all for today, folks. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, click us a like and, and, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Any questions, you can put your comments in the, in the comments below and tell us what you like. Until then, it's goodbye till next time. Goodbye.